this is Paul from Quick and Mobile, and right here, right now, today, we are here with a fully folded up Lexus Light folding portable mobility scooter. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over folding it, unfolding it, taking it apart, troubleshooting it, and basically, basically giving a lot of details about the Lexus Light folding mobility scooter. Now, before we really get started, one thing I want to do is just point out who we are. We are Quick and Mobile. This would be a great time to pause the video so you can write down our telephone number or write down our website. You type in www.quickandmobile.com. You see it right there in the address bar of your website and you can go directly to our website. Okay, so enough about us. Let's get to the Lexus Light for portable folding mobility scooter. If we pan over here, I've got a couple batteries. I have the, uh, the very light lithium battery that we're going to be demonstrating and then I have the not so light lead acid battery that we're going to be demonstrating with the device and of course we're going to be demonstrating the device itself. So if we take a view from the outside of this device, I kind of want to point out here that we're looking at about 54 pounds right here as is. 54 pounds Obviously, I'm in fair and decent shape. 54 pounds is 54 pounds, but look at how small this is. It, it literally is about the size of maybe a medium-sized suitcase, and it gets even smaller. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at with the Lexus Light is how do we unfold it? It's folded up. We have a latching mechanism here, and if we come over here and take a look, kind of right in there, you see when I pull that, when I pull that bar, when I pull this little release, this unlocks the actual device. This latching mechanism prevents it from unfolding in your car when you don't want it to unfold. But when you do want it to unfold, first step is going to be to, un to basically disengage the actual latching mechanism. So this will literally just kind of swing open here. You see how that works? Now the next thing that I want to do, let's take a look right up here. Okay, now that we've unlatched this. We have a second latching mechanism. This tiller, this, this latches it so it doesn't come apart again. This little part right here, we lift it up, you see what happens? That releases it and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold, put the front wheels on the ground, hold the back of the seat and just let this open up. And one more thing that I want to show you, okay? So you see how we have this handle right here? The seat's not totally folded up, but guess what I can do? I can, un I can kind of hinge it and unhinge the chair. Let's take a look right here, okay? Right here. Now, when I put the seat back, see what that does? That engages this, and now I can't, of course, I can bring the device apart, which we're gonna go over as well, but I can't fold it. I don't have the ability to fold the device like I did before, okay? just by the seat back, okay, see I put the seat back, and that latches, bring the seat forward, that unlatches this latch. So now I can lift this part up to fold it, now I can't. Which brings me to the next part of the actual Lexus light, right here. This is going to be locked, unless I bring this all the way forward, at which it will unlock. So it's a built-in safety mechanism, and we're going to just kind of pick this part up for a little bit. This is light, folks. I believe that we've got, I believe, 26 pounds here, okay? And I believe that this is 24 pounds, or we, we might have, uh, that might be opposite. But this folds up very easy, and of course you have the motor in front of the actual device. So I'm going to unfold it, so you see how this device right here folds and unfolds and we have a little sprocket inside and it allows me to adjust. Did you hear that click? We're going to do that one more time. Clicks. Okay, so I'm lifting up right here, okay, right here to disengage and I am going to Take a look, let's take a look inside actually, at the latching mechanism. If I bring this all the way back, see how that's unlatched? And if I bring this back, you see how that actually latches. 
So we have various different built-in safety mechanisms, and when you actually attach the, the front part of the Lexus light to the back part, I always like to have the tiller all the way open so I can bring this back one, and now we have everything latched. Okay, so we've got a few more things to go with the Lexus light here before we get into some of the other kind of troubleshooting arrangements here about what to do and what not to do. I want to point out we have the arms on the Lexus light, those fold up, and if we take a close look right here at the actual tiller itself, it's pretty straightforward. This is forward, just as indicated right here, if the machine was on. And this is reverse. Reverse goes about half the speed of uh, going forward, so reverse is always going to go slower, and it's a front-wheel drive device, and then you have your speed knob right here. Very simple. And we have another little knob the battery indicator is what we're focusing on right now. We have another knob right here that says drive and freewheel. So if I bring this to freewheel, you would expect that the device is going to be in freewheel. And if you have a charged battery in the device and the device is on, it would be in freewheel. But you always want to have this device in drive if you plan on using it as a mobility scooter. Otherwise, it is not going to function. Let's take a look at this battery here. Okay, so we've got the lithium battery. Keeping in mind, I'm, I'm using the, this, this front to steer the device with. I don't want to add a lot of weight to this device. A nine pound battery that's actually one that I can take on the airplane versus a 19 pound battery. You tell me which one you would want to do. I mean, personally, I want something that's going to be easier to drive and easier to maneuver. Some of the complaints, quite frankly, that we've got of this device have been because of the lead battery. It's heavy, and if you have some sort of physical impediment that is causing you to look at mobility scooters to begin with, my opinion is spend the extra money, get the lithium battery, it's going to make your life a lot easier. Let's take a look at this. We have a, a groove right at the bottom of the battery here, and we have a bar right here. I do everything I can, and let's take a look here, and then we have the basically the two kind of, I guess you could say the, the connectors on the battery, and take a look right here. We've got the, the connectors on the battery as well, and of course we have the port where we would charge the battery, which we'll go over in a little bit. Easiest way to get the battery in, I'm going to just rest the battery right here. You're not doing any major work. You see how I'm just letting the battery itself swivel and rotate, I'm going to pull this up and that just falls right into place. I want to latch it though. I want to make certain the battery is latched. If I can pull the battery out, it's not latched, it's not in effectively. So let's take a look here. I'm going to turn the actual machine on. You can see that when I have the lithium battery, first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to have a solid light. If that light's flashing, guess what's not going to work? And if you guessed your Lexus light, you guessed correctly. So you always want to see a solid light here, and of course you have your battery indicator. Now, if I'm going to put the tiller forward, of course I have it on a very slow setting. The device is going forward. I'm going to go backward if I want to go backward. Backwards is about twice as slow. You see that? I had it all the way down, so you can literally go at a turtle's pace if you want to drive the device inside. And you see how it steers. So if I'm sitting here, and we give it a little bit more juice here, what do you think I want to do? I don't want to be driving a machine that has a really heavy battery on the front of the machine because that way I have to use the muscles in my shoulder and I have to really use a lot of the core muscles to stabilize my body so I can actually turn the device. So hence the suggestion for the lithium battery. Now another issue that you might see right here, I'll kind of scoot over here a little bit. This is in front of me pretty substantially. It might not be comfortable and I don't necessarily feel like driving like this. So a little trick that we went over earlier on we have an adjustable tiller. I just lift this right up. I'm going to bring it back as far as I want to bring it back. And then I've really personalized the scooter for my own best and highest purpose. And we can see that even in a small area, the scooter turns around pretty easily. Now let's just say that for some reason, something happens, we need to push the scooter. 
I want to point this out. Nothing changes here. See this? But if I'm going to push the tiller down on either side, and if I don't know that this device is in freewheel, I'm going to get hopping mad, and I'm probably going to be really frustrated that the device that I just spent my hard-earned money on, I feel it's not working, the light's on, I can move it back and forth, so guess what? That must mean that it is in freewheel. I switch that switch, I can hear a little miniature click in the engine, it engages the engine, and guess what? The device works absolutely perfectly at this point in time. No problem at all. Now, what I do want to do is when I'm done with the device, I want to make certain always to turn the key off, okay? Now, even if I put the device in freewheel, the key's off, it's not going anywhere, it's locked. I know that might be frustrating, but that's just the way this particular device was built. If you would like to move it in freewheel mode, now see, see this? I just turned this device on, and this is just flashing. Guess what that means? It's not going to work. Something is amiss here. I'm going to engage it, put it in drive, shut it off, turn it back on, and there we go, we have a solid light. If you start the device in freewheel, it's probably not going to want to move. Okay, so we've gone over quite a bit of troubleshooting. I want to go over a couple more things. We have uh, two charging ports. So if you just wanted to charge the battery itself, I'm going to grab a battery charger real quick. We can plug the battery charger right into the charging port, or if you wanted to, you also have the ability to very easily charge the battery directly into the actual battery. So the charger, we have a receiving port or a port that looks like this. That plugs right in here. Now, of course, I want to turn the device off if I'm going to be charging the battery with the battery in the machine. I would plug the device in and I would look at the indicator light on the charger. Let's kind of come over here for a second. We'll leave this, we'll leave this B right now. And we're going to take a look at an actual lead acid battery that we have plugged into the charger. So we, this is the charger that comes with your Lexus light. Right now this is a, a kind of like an amber light, means that it's charging. So if you see a red or if you see a green, it means it's full, done. And we take a look at the back of the battery here you have the ability to plug this charger directly into the battery as well. So either one would work, either one, the, the, the battery or plugging it directly into the device. And let's go back over, we're gonna take a look at the device. I want to get the device folded up and I want to get the device broken down so I can put it away. I think that we've gone over just about everything that there is to go over on a basic troubleshooting virtue and a basic how-to virtue for the Lexus Light. It holds up to uh, 270 pounds, it's a great device, it goes five miles per hour, and it's truly a very portable machine. One of the first things that I want to do if I'm going to get this device folded up is I really want to take the battery off. Now, I just want to show you something real quick. To me, it looks like the battery's on but I'm turning the key, and let's take a look here. There's nothing that's happening on the face here. Looks like the battery's on, I'm turning the key, nothing's happening. We go back to the battery, and look what I was able to do. I was able to just to pull the battery right back out. I wanna show you something else, because we're kind of doing this as a troubleshooting type of video. We're gonna put this back in, and look what we have here. We, it, it was blinking a little bit, it works, the device was on. If you leave it like this, it's definitely going to run the battery down. So always when you're not using the device, as a general rule of thumb, turn the keys off, don't lose the keys. We're going to take the battery out. Easiest way to take the battery out to avoid dropping the battery, lift exactly the opposite of when I put the battery on, let it swivel, and there you go. Take the battery out of the device. I may or may not want to take the device apart. Remember that if you want to separate the actual components of the device, this front tiller has to come all the way forward, then and only then can I break it apart so it comes into the scooter itself with the two separate pieces. 
If I just want to fold it into one piece, I can do that as well. But remember, this, I need to first fold the seat down. And to keep things real easy for myself, I'm just going to disengage here. And I'm just going to lift it. Let the device click into place. And there we go. We've got the Lexus light folded up. I sincerely hope that this video was able to give you a bit more of a perspective about the Lexus Light folding mobility scooter along with some troubleshooting and some insight about the actual device and best use practices. As always, you can visit quickandmobile.com. Feel welcome to give us a telephone call. We thank you for watching.